Assalamu alaikum dear audience. Hope everyone is doing well. Friends. Even a few days ago, if Afghanistan was discussed, then war, crime, poverty, unemployment and such things, which are imagined with a ruined country, would come to mind first. For there is no doubt that, during the last 40 to 50 years of history, the unfortunate people of Afghanistan have had to face all these things unwillingly. But this time the situation has changed. America has returned home, and the Taliban have not only succeeded in winning the protracted war, but also in establishing their rule in Afghanistan. In fact, two and a half years ago today, the Taliban first established their rule in Afghanistan. Being present in different parts of the world then, all the experts claimed that, Mani presented a negative opinion about the Taliban. Everyone thought that maybe the Taliban had won the war and then established their own rule. But they will not be able to cover Afghanistan in any way. And in a few days this Taliban will be broken into pieces. Because these people do not have that skill, that knowledge. With the power of skill and intelligence, a country can be taken to the level of development. But then the whole world came to know how to take a country to the stage of development in a short period of time. Earlier they proved all these claims of world's biggest experts completely wrong. And if we talk about the present time, then not only peace has been gradually established in Afghanistan, but Afghanistan is also moving towards development at a very fast pace. Even so, this time the Taliban is working on different projects in different regions, like other countries, but for the last few days, for the continuous Taliban, the project for which is being practiced in the whole world, and the project which is surprising the whole world for the last few days. That is, an artificial reverb, this project is called Kostipa Canal. In simpler terms, the Taliban are going to dig a long and huge artificial river. Its special point of discussion is that all the machines to make it are made by them. They are bearing the entire cost of money themselves. They did not take financial assistance from any country to build it. Also leaving these things behind, the things that have surprised this world the most. That is, Taliban did not hire any engineer from any country for this project. What is more surprising is that they did not even take any input from senior engineers of any country for this work. If most of the world, the Taliban is not considered a poor and backward country. Rather uneducated and incompetent mob. If you look at the big projects of other countries in the world, you will see that they call big field experts from other developed countries, they make map designs etc., but the Taliban is completely different in this regard, they did not call anyone from any country. Didn't take any advice from anyone. The workers who are working to build this river, the engineers who are working, and the common people who are working on this project are all from Afghanistan. Now a question may be that, what is this Kostipa Canal thing in Afghanistan? Why is the Taliban making the world's largest and longest river? If their project is successful, how will the success of this river ultimately affect the country of Afghanistan? How will this big project change the fate of Afghanistan? So let's try to present the answers to all these questions very simply in this beautiful video today, so please watch the video till the end, and yes subscribe the channel now by liking the video. First of all, let us inform you that this artificial large river named Kostipa Canal in Afghanistan is generally being built in the northern part of Afghanistan. The river will be approximately 285 kilometers long, and 115 kilometers wide, as well as 8.5 meters deep. Till now, on one side of this river, where half of the section is completed, there is also a lot of work going on in the rest of the section. And the reason for this is that in the northern part of Afghanistan, there is a great need for water, people are facing various problems due to lack of water. But this artificial river is bigger. It will remove all distractions, and satisfy all needs. It is believed that this new project by the Taliban government will supply water to approximately 1 million Afghans. There are thousands of Afghanis who cannot work in agriculture due to war or drought. They will also contribute to the success of this project in agriculture. According to reports, through this project, around 50,000 hectares of land will be converted to dry crops like wheat. And to accomplish all these things, they rely on their own strength, the Taliban government has also targeted, come 2080 years, they will be exported to wheat exporting countries. That is, until the year 2028, Afghanistan will continue to strive to become a prosperous country. At this time they will grow so much crops, 
which will not only meet the needs of their country, but they will also start exporting. Friends. Work on the project began in March 2022, and the Taliban government has divided the project into three phases, with the first two phases only excavating, and the final phase, the irrigation system, or any other second advanced system can be installed. This largest project in Afghanistan is being completed under the National Development Corporation. And which is fully supported by the government, it was initially estimated that the Taliban would have to spend approximately $500 million to complete this project. But the way the project is progressing, reports claim, another $100 million may be needed to build this artificial reverb. Before starting the work on the area over which the river is going to be completed, many tests had to be done on the soil of the area. And these areas had to be checked. Not only this, the engineers of Afghanistan, while making the map of this river, also had to pay special attention to this, as much as possible this river will pass through villages, towns and markets. So that common people can get more benefits through this. After doing all these experiments, and verifying the data, the work was started. 200 contactors were then called, debriefed in 114 sections, and given the first phase of work. The area under construction in the first phase will be approximately 108 kilometers. Roughly, more than 7,000 trucks were used in this fast phase. Where labor engineers and other laymen were required, their numbers were also considerable. As the work of the first phase is thus completed, now the work of the second phase has also started. And in the second phase which is under construction, the distance will be approximately 177 kilometers. In the second phase, thousands of tons of soil are excavated every day, then dumped by trucks. And in this second phase, those 14 special hydraulic gates will also be made, over which a bridge will be established. The purpose of these 14 special gates is to control the floods which usually occur in every major river due to bad weather. Two hobby pools are also planned to be built over this canal, a bridge will be for the railway, over which the railway line will be established. Another pool will be for transport etc. No doubt about it, this project will increase Afghanistan's annual income hundreds of times. Afghanistan will soon become a high-income country. Friends, hope you like our today's video. I request everyone to like the video and subscribe to the channel.